Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the News on Lab series. My name is Pooja. Let's begin with the practice question of the last segment that I gave you to solve. The home reef volcano is situated in Tonga, New Zealand, Haiti or Indonesia. Many of you have answered it correctly. The correct answer to this question is Tonga. Okay? It's present in the Tonga volcanic arc along with many other volcanoes such as Lit, Iki, Kao, Tokwa and of course how can we forget the Honga Hapai volcanic outburst last year. So this is what is important if any place like this is in the news we will help you with it through the maps. Moving ahead let us talk about the next question before that let's see the news to which it is related. The Economic Community of West African States or ECOWAS, it is known as ECOWAS, ECOWAS has announced more sanctions on Guinea's military government after it failed to establish a new schedule for a transition to democracy. The question that is related to this particular news is, with respect to ECOWAS, consider the following statements. And here we will have to select how many statements given above is or are correct. Okay. First statement is, it consists of 15 member states. Second is, Cabo Verde is situated in the South Atlantic Ocean. And only three countries of ECOWAS are landlocked. Let us move ahead and solve this question. ECOWAS has members such as Niger, Nigeria. Then we have Benin. Also, we have Togo. Then we have Ghana, Burkina Faso, Mali, Cote d'Ivoire, Liberia, and sorry, Liberia is 9, Guinea 10. So, on this country only, the sanctions have been put. Then Sierra Leone, also Guinea-Bissau, that is 12. Then we have Senegal, 13. Senegal is the 13th member. Gambia is 14. And then we have Cape Verde or Cabo Verde, this is 15. Okay. So, you see that there are 15 countries in ECOWAS. And if we talk about Cabo Verde, Cabo Verde is present in the North Atlantic and not South Atlantic. Okay. So, this is incorrect, but first is correct. Only three member countries of ECOWAS are landlocked. Let us see. So, there are many countries in ECOWAS which are located at the coastal region, right? So, we have to ensure that we know the landlocked ones. Niger is landlocked. Okay. Burkina Faso is also landlocked. And Mali is landlocked. Apart from that, if we see any other country then of ECOWAS, then these all countries are actually not landlocked. So, third statement is also correct. Okay. So, first and third are correct. Second is not correct. Only two statements will be correct. Moving ahead to the next set of questions. Now, these are the news from which we have formulated the question. Health authorities in Uganda have confirmed the death of more Ebola patients in the country. One soldier was killed and at least six others were wounded in Somalia. Debris from a drone strike in northern Ethiopia's Tigray region has damaged a truck carrying food aid. Okay, and that was through the World Food Program. So from this news, we have formulated our next, our next question. Consider the following pairs, region in news and the country. Zana Voreda, Iran, Mogadishu, Somalia and Mubende is in Kenya. So we have to select the correct pairs. Okay. First is Zana Voreda. Zana Voreda is a region in Tigray and not Iran. Okay. So this is the region of Tigray, Zana Voreda. First pair is not correct. Next we have Mogadishu. Mogadishu is the capital of Somalia. So second pair is correct. And if we talk about Mubende, Mubende is actually not Kenya's district, but it is the district of Uganda. This is Uganda. Alright. So, the correct answer will be only the second pair is correctly matched. Okay. So, one pair only will be the correct answer. Moving ahead to our next set of questions. So, Armenia, Azerbaijan, trade blame for new ceasefire violation. Let us see what do we have for our question. Consider the following statements. Azerbaijan shares a border with Georgia but not Turkey. The exclave of Nakishevan belongs to Georgia. 
Kankende is the capital of the Nagorno Karabakh Republic. We have to select the not correct statement here. So, Azerbaijan, as we see, it has a border with many countries. This is Azerbaijan with Russia, Georgia, and Iran as well, of course, with Armenia. And there is a small exclave. This is the exclave of Azerbaijan, not Georgia, not Chikewan. Okay, and it shares a border with Turkey. Okay, so first statement becomes incorrect, and also Nakhichevan is actually the border uh, is actually the exclave of Azerbaijan. Okay, and not Georgia, as it was asked in the question. So first statement is not correct. Second statement is also not correct. Khankendi is the capital of Nagorno Karabakh Republic. Khankendi, yes. If we talk about Republic of Artsakh, that is Nagorno Karabakh. Stepanakart or Khankindi, as it is known, is the capital of it. So, only the third statement is correct. First and second are not correct. As we had to select the not correct ones, one and two only is the correct answer here. Moving ahead, let us talk about the next news. One of the most powerful storms to hit in the US this year makes landfall in the heavily populated Gulf Coast region. So, here we have a question with respect to the ocean currents. And nature of current, we have to see how many are correctly, sorry, not correctly matched. Abhula's current is a hot current, Labrador is a cold current, Gulf Stream is a cold current, and Lumen current is a hot current. Let's see the correct answer first. We will look at Abhula's. So, if we talk about Abhula's, it moves from, as we see, from the eastern region of Africa to the southern region of Africa. So, this is actually a hot current. Leuven current is also a hot current, okay. It moves from the northwest part of Australia to the southwest of it, okay. So, Agholas is actually a hot current, that is correct. And Leuven is also a hot current. Labrador and Gulf Stream, let us see about Labrador and Gulf Stream. So, Labrador current is a cold current and Gulf Stream is a hot current, okay. So, let's see how many are not correct. Labrador is a cold current, this is correct. And Gulf Stream is a hot current. Okay, so this is not correct. So as we see, as, as as we had to select the not correct ones, so only one pair is not correctly matched. Okay. Let us move ahead and look at the news. Ankara accuses Athens, that is Turkey accuses Greece of breaching an agreement on the Asian Sea. Let us talk about Asian Sea. The Thracian Sea is a part of Ionian Sea, Black Sea. Sea of Marmara or agency. The correct answer to this question is of course the agency. Okay, here lies the agency separating the regions of Greece and Turkey. This has this area has been hotly contested. And Thracian Sea is an extension, is a part of agency, agency, whereas is a is an extension of the Mediterranean Sea. Remember, Sea of Crete and Agency are a part, sorry, Thracian Sea are a part of the agency. Okay. So, Thracian Sea is a part of Asian Sea. That is correct. Option D will be the correct answer over here. Moving ahead to the next set of questions. Belgium's police raid on violent group leaves one suspect dead. So, which of the following countries does not have a border with Belgium? Italy, Germany, Netherlands, France. Let us look at the map, okay? So, Belgium shares a border with Netherlands, Germany, Luxembourg, and France, and to the Northwest of it, it has the North Sea. Okay, basically, you have to remember the important countries surrounding European countries because then this is a very checkered geography. So, Italy is not a part of the countries which share a border with Belgium. Italy is going to be the correct answer because we had to select the North doesn't have a border with Belgium. Okay, moving ahead to the next set of questions North Korea launches two ballistic missiles on the eve of Kamala Harris trip. Okay, now moving ahead to the question, consider the following statements. The 38th parallel lies to the south of Japan. The Korea Strait separates North Korea and China and the Yellow Sea lies to the west of South Korea. We have to select the correct statement here. Let's look at the 38th parallel. The 38th parallel, it divides the countries of North Korea from South Korea and it passes through uh, the Japan Sea almost through the midst of certain islands of Japan does not lie to the south of Japan. First statement is not correct. 
Then comes Korea Street. Korea Street separates South Korea from Japan and North South Korea or North Korea from the China Chinese mainland. Then yes, Yellow Sea lies to the west of South Korea. This is correct. So first statement is not correct. Second statement is also not correct. Only the third statement is correct. The correct answer will be option B. Three only. Moving ahead to the next set of question. Vietnam warns of floods as it downgrades typhoon Nuru. Many typhoons we are seeing in the news right now. Consider the following Southeast Asian countries and choose the odd one out. Thailand, Laos, Vietnam and Cambodia. So let us look at the map for this. Thailand, this is Thailand. Vietnam is also asked in the question. Vietnam, Cambodia and Laos. If you look at, look at the map super patiently, you will understand that among these four countries, the odd one out is Laos because it does not have a coastline. Other than that, all the three countries have a coastline. So on the basis of that only, you can choose the answer to be Laos. Okay. Moving ahead to the next set of questions, let us look at it. 4.5 magnitude earthquake hits Anman and Nicobar Island. So Anman and Nicobar Island sometimes become those, those areas which we do not look at through the help of maps. Why? Because we do not care. So we have to care because this area has a lot of potential to be asked in the question now. Channel passage and islands. Let us see which ones are correctly matched. Coco Channel, Coco Island and Narkundam Island. 10 degree channel, Little Anman and Kar Nicobar. Sombrero Channel, Middle Anman and South Anman. And Duncan Passage, South Anman and Little Anman. Let us look at the matches. Coco Channel, Coco Island and Narkundam. Okay, so here lies the map. Coco Island belongs to Myanmar. And it lies, the Coco Channel separates Sorry, it uh, lies between Coco Island of Myanmar and North Anman and not Narkondam. So first, pair is not correct. Then we have the second one. 10 degree channel, Little Anman and Karnikubar. Let us see. 10 degree channel lies between Little Anman and Karnikubar. Okay. Then I think that was the second option. Yes. Then Sombrero Channel, Middle Anman and South Anman. Let's look at Sombrero Channel. Sombrero channel, it actually divides the islands of Nicobar. So third statement or third pair is not correct. Okay. That is also not correct. Then we have Duncan Passage between South Anman and Little Anman. Let us see. Duncan Passage, Little Anman and South Anman. Between that we have Duncan Passage. So only the second and the fourth ones are correct. This is correct. Second one and fourth one. Two and four is going to be the correct answer. Alright, moving ahead to the next question. Rishikesh Karnaprayag new rail line project moves ahead despite geographical challenges. Okay, so Chardham project has been in the news many times. We have to know that question could be asked from here. Vishnu Prayag is located at the confluence of Mudhali Ganga and Alaknanda. Dev Prayag is located at the confluence of Bhagirathi and Alaknanda River. Rudra Prayag is located at the confluence of Nandakini and Alaknanda River. And Kanda Prayag is located at the confluence of Pindar and Alaknanda River. So let us look at the map to understand this question. Vishnu Prayag lies here at the confluence of Dholi Ganga and Alaknanda. So first statement becomes correct. Dholi Ganga and Alaknanda. This is correct. Dev Prayag, Bhagirathi and Alaknanda. Let us see. Dev Prayag is here. And Bhagirathi and Alaknanda, the confluence here makes Dev Prayag. That is also correct. Okay. So second statement is also correct. Rudra Prayag, Nandakini and Alaknanda. Let us see. Rudra Prayag lies here. Okay. And it is at the confluence of Alaknanda and Mandakini and not Nandakini. Nandakini is over here. So third statement is not correct. Only first and second up till now. And third is not correct. Karnaprayag, Pindar and Alaknanda. Let us see. Here lies Karnaprayag and it is at the confluence of Alaknanda and Pindar river. Okay. So one, two and four are correct. But third is not correct. Okay. So 1, 2 and 4 is going to be the correct answer. That is option B. Alright. 
Moving ahead to the next set of questions, consider the following statements. Barel Hill lie to the south of Naga Hills but to the north of Patkai Bam. Mikir Hills lie to the west of Naga Hills but to the south of Dafla Hills. Jaintia Hills lie to the east of east, east of Khasi Hills but to the west of Garo Hills. So we have to select the correct statement. First is Barel Hills lie to the south of Naga but not to the Patkai. So here lies the Barel range. It lies almost you can see southwest of the Naga Hills but it is saying it is lying north to the Patkai Bam which is not correct. It lies southwest to the Patkai Bam okay, or south to the Patkai Bam. First statement is not correct. Then Mikir Hills lie to the west of Naga Hills but to the south of Dafla Hills. Mikir Hills lie to the west of Naga Hills. This is correct. Okay. And to the south of Dafla Hills, I guess. This is also correct. South of the Dafla Hills. So, this second statement becomes correct. Jaintia lie to the east of Khasi but to the west of Garo. So, let's see. Jaintia lies to the east of Khasi. This is correct. But to the west of Garo, this is not correct because to the East, uh, to the west of Jaintia, we have the Garos. Okay. So, only the second statement is correct over here. Option will be one statement. Option which is correct will be one statement only. Moving ahead to the next question. The Uttar Pradesh cabinet on September 27 approved the notification of the state's fourth tiger reserve in Ranipur Wildlife Sanctuary in Chitrakoot district. So the question we have formulated here is the Ranipur Wildlife Sanctuary recently in the news lies in which region of Uttar Pradesh? East, West, North or South? So let's look at the map to know more about it. Ranipur Wildlife Sanctuary lies over here. This will be the fourth tiger reserve or Uttar Pradesh. Okay, so it lies in actually you can see the southern region of Uttar Pradesh or more, more probably if you look at it, Central South it's more the correct answer. So we will go with South. The correct answer will be option D that is South. All right. Moving ahead, let us look at the next question, which is the practice question. Which of the following countries of Southwest Asia does not open out in the Mediterranean or to the Mediterranean Sea? Syria, Jordan, Lebanon or Israel? Let us look at the map. So here lies the Mediterranean Sea. Lebanon opens out to Mediterranean Sea. So does Israel. Okay. Syria also is opening out to the Mediterranean Sea. And the last option was Jordan. Okay. And Jordan is a landlocked country. You can see, I mean landlocked from Mediterranean, but of course it has ways to Red Sea. So Jordan is going to be the correct answer over here. Option B is correct. Let us move on to our last question for today. That is the practice question that you have to solve. From north to south, arrange the following regions which are in the news due to Russia-Ukraine war. Mariupol, Kherson, Kharkiv, Severodonetsk. Okay, so these are the many codes you have to choose from. Okay, so do solve this. That's it. Stay updated. Stay engaged with Rishti IAS and do like and subscribe.